foundation. Okay. Hi, Shania. Good evening, sir. Namaste. It is so wonderful to have you on the Red Corner Show. Um, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for joining. Do you know you're my first guest yes. as, the, as their new host? I'm so excited. So, um, who am I, sir? Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, hello, everyone. It's Joshua Kelly Chetty from Johannesburg, South Africa, your host today on the Red Corner Show. Today, my guest on the show is nine-year-old Shania Singh from West Bengal, Kolkata in India. She is the world's youngest storyteller to narrate stories on international platforms. Of the many accolades Shania has, she is a world record holder, Asia Book of Records holder, India Book of Records holder, America Book of Records, and multiple record holder for storytelling. Shania received the Global Achievers Award 2021 by All India Radio. And she's also an, an in-house writer of Book of Smear. That notably, Shania has received the Mother Teresa Global Peace Award by the Mother Teresa International Foundation. So hello, Shania. Welcome to the Red Corner Show. Now, you were interviewed last year on the show by Ma'am Shamila Ramjohan. And we thought with all your recent achievements, um, we would get you back on the show to inspire the youth. So are you excited? Yes, so that's excited. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, I think let's get straight into it. Could you please tell us a little about yourself? Hello, everyone. Namaste. I'm your friend, storyteller Shania Singh, and I'm from Kolkata, India. I'm the world's youngest storyteller. My name has entered the International Book of World Records, Asia Book of Records, and India Book of Records. I'm also a published author. My motto is to spread reading culture through my storytelling skills so that I can in develop an interest of reading in children. That's amazing. That's absolutely Thank incredible. You. That is absolutely incredible, Shania. And you're only nine years old. That is so amazing. So could you please tell our viewers, how did you become a storyteller? What do you like about storytelling? Okay, now I'm going to tell you my very interesting story or journey. So when I was just two years old, my mother would take me to the library. And of course, I couldn't read. So I would sit there in a corner and read a book. That means I would just flip the pages of a book and see the pictures. Slowly, slowly, I grew an interest in reading. And then it, a pandemic came. And I was at home. It was locked down. I was thinking, what to do? Then I decided I would narrate a story. I narrated a story and it went live. So I decided to narrate more stories. And like this, I became a storyteller. That's amazing. Wow, you are absolutely incredible. And you know, I think you're so young and you really have such a bright future ahead of you. And you are on such an amazing um, path at the moment. Um, so Shania, yeah. you mentioned you are a published so, author. So how do you that would feel like I yes. would also like to add that um, a very famous storyteller, Tony Cranston, also invited me to his show. And he is my godfather. He only helped me throughout this journey of storytelling. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. So um, to add on to what you said, you are a published author. So, you know, I think our viewers would like to know how did that begin? And where are your stories published? your stories published, um, you know, if people want to read your books, how do they go about doing that? Yes, sir. So this is my story. This is just my book. It looks beautiful. The cover is so beautiful. Thank you so much, sir. All right. So my I think... My stories have been published in Singapore as well. So this is my journey of how I started to write books. So one day I took out a piece of pen and paper. I looked outside. Then I saw a group of squirrels eating some food and sharing it. I thought, how about I write a story about these squirrels, a squirrel family tree. And like this, 
like how we use bricks to build a building that's how i use these small small parts to build a wonderful story hey wonderful that is that is so cute thank um, you so much all right so you started a storytelling and a reading club so take us through that journey uh, what is it called and how does that exactly work hola Yes, sir. I had opened a storytelling club so that I can give my friends a platform where they can come and narrate stories. I've collaborated with Ma Metamorphosis Maharashtra to open to conduct these storytelling sessions, and I've opened this so that children would get the benefits of reading, and they would grow an interest in reading, and so that they would become better at storytelling and become a bit more confident. that's awesome that is awesome and i'm sure Thank they get you. you're really making such a positive uh, impact i would like to tell the importance of storytelling may i All right go ahead go ahead telling a story makes you more interesting to listen to when you tell a story to an audience you become more animated your language becomes more descriptive your yes. gesture more animated and you let the audience see more of you set the tone for your presentation and what's to come thank you definitely definitely thank you for those thank you for that advice um so shri you are an international ambassador of the global literary literary temple as well as the city brand ambassador for namaste india magazine and the brand ambassador of the russell book club that is absolutely incredible and i would like to thank offer you my heart congratulations um so how does it make you feel as a young high achiever you know what are your feelings about that so i feel very normal and mm. it is very important that we be very humble it makes me feel yes, a bit course. confident i know that i can help children grow an interest in storytelling skills mm -hmm. definitely definitely okay. so you know like i and i would even remember all these awards and achievements they will only remember the work that we do definitely definitely and that is the that is the bigger picture and that is the you know the impact that you're going to leave on the world is the work that you do so you're very right in saying that um so like i mentioned earlier you know you received so you've received so many awards and accolades and that is amazing at your young age that's absolutely incredible thank you so much um how does that how does that make you feel and you know which one of your many awards is perhaps the most special to you is so actually feel very normal because we should never be overconfident or too proud we should always be humble about what we have and one of my favorite awards must be the mother teresa award and the 1818 award sir that's awesome that is awesome all right so i know you're a storyteller right so if you could please narrate a story for for our viewers we would love to hear you um tell us a little story Yes sir I would love to now I'm going to narrate a very heart touching story the kabuli wala written by gurudev rabindranath tagore once there was a girl named mini who lived in india that time girls in india used to wear sarees so many wore a beautiful saree a yellow saree which had red borders Now Mini was just five years old, but she was a total chatterbox. She would chat all day long, chatter, 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 chatter. Her mother would get so annoyed of her. She would say, "Mini, go and play with your friends." And Mini would get scared of her mother and would run off to her father. Since her father was a writer, he would need. some concentration to write his stories so one day mini told her father 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 do you know how foolish the watchman of ours is mini. he called kawa to calf this is and do you know ola told me that there's a big big elephant behind the clouds that collects all the rain water 
and press it down to the earth. <laughs> and he clapped and laughed in joy. Ha 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 ha. One day, Mitch's father told her, Oh, Minnie, my sweetheart, please do me a favor. Go out and play with your friends. I need a little bit concentration. So, Minnie told her father, 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 I won't disturb you. I'll play happily and peacefully here. Suddenly, Minnie heard big footsteps. Thump, thump, thump. She went to the window and saw the Kabuli Wala. She called out, Kabuli Wala, oh Kabuli Wala, Kabuli Wala, oh Kabuli Wala. Kabuliwala turned around. The Kabuliwala had a long beard. Lots. Minnie saw the Kabuliwala. She was frightened. She thought that the Kabuliwala had kidnapped children, put him inside the sack, and he was about to do the same with Minnie. Now Minnie's father was thinking, hmm. Whom could my daughter be calling? She doesn't call anybody normally without her permission. Then he went out and saw the Kabuli Wala coming from him to his house. He realized that his daughter was calling the Kabuli Wala. Now he could not tell the Kabuli Wala to go away because the Kabuli Wala came from Kabul. The Kabuli Wala told about himself and said, My name is Rahman and I am from Kabul. I come here to India every year to sell some dry fruits or some sweets. When the Kabuliwala was about to go, the Kabuliwala said, Babu, can I see the little girl who was calling me once? Then Minnie's father thought, hmm, this will be a good opportunity to remove Minnie's fear of the Kabuliwala. Then he called out, Mini, ek hane asho, which means come here in Bengali. She was frightened. She held the cup, her father's hand tightly, looking at the Kabuliwala. The Kabuliwala offered Mini a box of sweets. Mini refused a box of raisins. Then again, Mini refused and stood there. The next day, when Minnie's father was coming out from his office, he saw Minnie and the Kabuli Bola talking with each other like they were the bestest of friends. He was shocked. So one day, when the Kabuli Bola decided to go back to his houses, he wanted to collect the money from the people who made a long list and decided to pay him when he left. Everybody gave him money, except for this one house. He knocked on the door and said, Babu, please give me my money. I want to go back to my family. Then the man said, I didn't take anything from you. I didn't buy a thing. I don't even know who you are. Then the Kabuliwala said, Babu, please, I am very poor. Please don't treat me like this. Please, please get, give me my money back. Then the customer refused and they got into an angry quarrel. Quarrel means fight. And in that quarrel, the Kabuliwala took out his knife, started to threaten the customer and said, if you don't give me the money, I will hurt you. And while threatening the customer, the Kabuliwala actually hurt the customer. Ah! Ah! The customer started to cry out in pain. Oh, what have you done, you person? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank so you my so story much. is not done. Okay, okay, you can carry on for a little bit. Okay. okay. Then the Kabuliwala said, then the people of the house called the police and then he was arrested. Um, he was sent to jail for 16 years. By the time Minnie had grown up and become a beautiful girl, beautiful maiden, she made many friends and it was a day to get married. Suddenly, 
Smith's father heard somebody saying, Babu, salam. He turned around to see. Babali Bahra, Rahman. Then he said, Rahman, what are you doing here? Then the Kabuli Wala said, I came here to meet the little one, Minnie. Then he started to think, he still thinks that Minnie is the little one. Then Minnie's father said, no, 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 I will not let you see my daughter. Today is a very special day for us. Then the Kabuli Wala said, please let me see him. Her, please. Then Minnie's father said, hmm, it's okay, let me do it. He came out dressed up in a beautiful sari, wearing red bangles. She was looking like a beautiful bride. Kabli Walpa was in shock and started to cry. Then Minnie's father said, Why are you crying? The Kabuli Wala. The Kabuli Wala took out a crumbled piece of paper which had a small handprint and said, This is my daughter's handprint. I carry it around to keep me safe. I'm feeling like my daughter has forgotten me too, like Minnie, because Minnie did not remember the Kabuli Wala anymore. Then Minnie's father said, Oh, before it's too late. So, my dear friends, the moral of the story is love comes above all. Humanity is everything. Love does not see religion, color, or wealth. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was an absolutely beautiful story. Thank you for sharing that with us, Shania. Um, so I'm sure we learned a lot of lessons from that story as well. Um, so, I have... Um, my final two questions for you. Um, could you please tell me who is your role model? My role model are my parents because they always support me and I'm very inspired by them. That is amazing. That is amazing. Nice. Um, and then what is next for you? Like what is next for Shania? What are your plans for 2020, 2024? My plans for 2024 is to make each and every one in my storytelling club a great storyteller and to make them have a lot of interest in storytelling and that they become great storytellers like me. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, Thank it was you. so a great pleasure to have you on the show today and I wish you everything of the best in all of your adventures in all of your adventures and your ventures to come to the amazing audience thank you for tuning in if you would like to be on the show please send an email to redcornershow at gmail.com from me Joshua Kelly Chetty I wish you all of the best take care and bye for now thank you Shania bye Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.